Morning, 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 good morning. Uh, excuse the the car monologue, you know. Um, just uh, headed to work, headed to work. Man, I just saw something. Um, I saw something on ESPN before I was rolling out. Um, just thought I would like um, try to catch everybody's thoughts on it. Um, so, so, so the NFL, the NFL uh, held like a separate combine to to HBCU schools, um, meaning meaning the NFL does a combine, uh, NFL combine. They only invite certain players, usually the the All Americans, like like people that did really well in uh in in the, in, the, in the college football season. You know the top the top tier people. You know, so then they can't they can't they can't have every senior or somebody that's declaring for the NFL draft in in a combine to assess them. So they did they did a separate HBCU combine, which on the surface looks I was like that's damn good. Um, and I think um, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but but. I, I, you know, I'm gonna look at the details up, but I want I want to ask what you guys think. You know, put it in the comments. But what could be the positives and negatives? What I what I think is that's a great opportunity for a lot of young men that wouldn't probably had got that look. Probably a couple of them, a few of them in there. Now, HBCUs are responsible for a lot of the first pro NFL football um, Hall of Famers, and a lot of uh, Hall of Famers. So that's to show you know there's talent down there. Uh, or when I say down there, there's most mostly the HBCUs are in the south. So you have um, and and for for people that put in context that don't know what HBCU is, it's a historically black college university. So uh, you, you got your Howards, your Morehouses, um, Jackson State, where Deion Sanders was just coaching. You know uh, those type of stuff. More folks that you know like those 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 colleges. You know what I'm saying? Prairie View, uh, and yeah, it's not. It's talent down there, just like it is anywhere else. You know what I mean? Um, so I think it was a good look, but I wonder what spawned the NFL to do that. That's what I want to know. Like, what what spawned them to? Oh, we got to get out here to the HBCUs. And is it is it is it really like like Dion? He put a light on them because he was coaching down there for a couple of years, brought you know brought them to the forefront, or is it just oh we we're gonna we're gonna do this and just to satisfy some people because the NFL, you know, is always in a bad light, honestly. Um, like, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, um, crime, criminal stuff, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, like when I say that, it's because if you look at the the NBA and the NFL, which there's a, there's a vast more um, amount of players than the NFL, so it's, you're going to have that probability, but... Um, NBA really, they kind of don't. You never see them like too many, too much in the headlines like that, you know. Um, as far as like, uh, you know, what we talking about, some, you know, it, there's there's stuff that happens, but what I'm talking about, I'm talking about like sexual assault, domestic violence, and the, you know, the scumbag, the scumbag crimes and stuff, you know. So um, you never, I mean, I say never, but you, you rarely, it, it, it's less probability, but. Um, you know, they try to get off the light. Then you have the CTE thing. Um, and you have the, the claim that, you know, the NFL doesn't take care of players knowingly, knowing that CTE was a thing, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you know. Um, so you have that. Then um, I look at Colin Kaepernick, uh, like his his um, workout back in the day, like, as well, what was it, like a couple years ago? His workout a couple years ago, he, um, he did a he did a private I don't know if it was private but he did a workout with NFL and I think NFL was just trying to like appease him because they didn't send every team to his workout it, which is one person that's crazy they on um, matter of fact they pulled back they pulled back a lot of people up he, he ended up sending like they got they had something like three or four people or something like that and I don't even know if they were scouts or what you know so and it was like it was like made the NFL, to me it was like oh let me get some um some service where it makes the NFL look good and then you're, 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 you you know you like oh, we, we gave Colin Kaepernick a good chance you know and move on but uh, hopefully it's nothing like that because these young men uh, 47 47 uh, participants in the 
HBCU, uh, Combine, um, you know, uh, you know, and, and, and other tokens, some people could look at it like as favoritism, but, um, you know, it's, 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 when do, when do we often get favoritism? So, but we'll, we'll see how what comes out of it. And I didn't read all into it, like what the details were, why they did it. But what do y'all think? You know what I'm saying? I think it's on the service, looking at it, it's a good thing. We'll see what happens, you know, but man, let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. And, you know, it's, it's Tuesday, but it's Monday, you know. Boy, still tired. What? Whatever. We got to get to it. Let's get to it, man. Hopefully, y'all have a good day. You know, uh, be safe. Take care of each other. You know what I'm saying? And talk to y'all later. You know, long live D Mac. Long live Pooh Bear. Equal though.